like if you do have sensitive skin, I would definitely recommend doing a patch test somewhere else at least 48 hours before doing the peel just to make sure that you're not going to have any kind of reaction. Hey guys and welcome to the Skin Code by Cody where I will be reviewing anti-aging skincare, at-home beauty devices as well as professional treatment. If that's something you're interested in, please like and subscribe. Today, I will be reviewing the Ordinary AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution, an at-home 10-minute chemical peel that you can do to improve your skin. I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step process to make sure you're achieving the maximum benefits from using this product if you choose to use it at home. I'll then be sharing with you the results that I have achieved from the last six months that I've been using this product. For those of you who don't know, an AHA is an alpha hydroxy acid, which essentially exfoliates the surface level of the skin, revealing the newer, fresher skin underneath, while a beta hydroxy acid goes deeper into the skin and is really able to unclog pores. So the best way to look at it is AHA really addresses some of the more advanced signs of aging, while a beta hydroxy acid really addresses people who are concerned with oil control and acne. This means we're able to achieve an effective exfoliation of the skin without having to resort to a physical harsh scrub. So a lot of you probably have used physical scrubs in your time where they have like microbeads or granules in the exfoliant and we really scrub our skin thinking that we're exfoliating the dead skin cells. Whilst that's true, what you're also doing is you are really compromising the external layer of the skin, which is essential to protect the skin. So I certainly urge you, if you are using a physical exfoliant, to consider using a chemical exfoliant as an alternative. Um, or if you would like to continue using a physical exfoliant, definitely be conscious of not over scrubbing because this can cause micro tears in the skin, will actually cause more damage to your skin. Now we're going to talk about actually using the peel and how to prepare your skin for the peel. So I will be referring to some of the instructions from the Ordinary website, and I do always recommend following the manufacturer's instructions when you are using a new product. The first thing you're going to want to do is really wash your face, make sure you've removed any skincare makeup so your face is very clean, and then you want to completely dry your face. So they do specifically recommend that you don't use this product on wet skin. So you really need to make sure your skin is dry. As with any new product, particularly a chemical peel, I do strongly recommend that you do a patch test uh, at least 48 hours before you do apply this to your face and neck. So great, great locations to use to do a patch test. You can do it either on your wrist, on a part of your arm, or even um, somewhere inconspicuous on the lower part of your neck. That way you can see how your skin reacts to the product. Now that your face is nice and dry, it's time to apply the peel. So how you apply it is absolutely up to you. Some people choose just to apply it directly with their hands. Um, other, others tend to use cotton, cotton pads. You can use a cotton pad to apply it to your face. Uh, obviously, using your fingers, you're not wasting any product. Uh, one thing I did want to call out is if you do have any irritated skin or compromised skin, it's really important to avoid those areas, or I would probably suggest waiting for them to be completely healed before using the product. Another thing that you want to be really careful of is not to apply any product under the direct eye contour area, which is the area just above this orbital bone that sits at the top of the cheekbone and not below the eyebrow. This is obviously a very sensitive area for the skin, uh, so you don't want to be applying a peel of this strength to that area and risk it going into your eye. As the product does contain Tasmanian pepperberry, you'll see it is a very bright 
red colour um, that, you know, will stain your skin a little bit uh, after the peel. So once you've washed it off, you really want to give it maybe even double cleanse just to make sure all of the product is off of your skin and the peel has been neutralised. Um, but also just to make sure that that, you know, red colour is really off of your skin. Another thing that you probably want to be mindful of as well is just of the clothes that you're wearing when you do apply the peel. Because I would expect if you did spill this on a piece of clothing, it probably will stain. So just something to be aware of. Now my face is completely clean and dry, so I'm ready to start applying the peel. So I'll show you how I do apply it. It does drip a little bit from the dropper, so you do have to be careful just to make sure that you, you know, again, you don't want to drop it on your clothes, you don't want to get it in your eye or any other places where you don't want it. You'll see it is a very bright pinkish colour. And again, we probably just want to go to the top of the cheekbone and no higher, avoiding that under eye area. Now the product um, does have quite a pleasant smell, so it's nothing, you know, it's not as if you're going to be smelling some type of acid smell, but you do want to make sure that you are applying it completely evenly across your face and neck. Again, if you do have any, like if you do have sensitive skin, I would definitely recommend doing a patch test somewhere else at least 48 hours before doing the peel, just to make sure that you're not going to have any kind of reaction. Um, and in terms of how it feels, it just feels kind of like a, you know, basically just a very smooth gel um, getting applied to the skin. Uh, you may experience some slight tingling from the product. That really depends, uh, you know, on your skin sensitivity and also on how many actives you currently use in your skincare. So if you're really regularly using, you know, retinol products, vitamin C, products, um, that kind of thing, your skin will probably have quite a high tolerance to something like this. Whereas if you use fairly uh, simple skincare that doesn't contain a lot of actives, this could cause, you know, quite a strong uh, tingling sensation. Like with any product, if you do find that as you apply the product that your skin is becoming irritated, um, or, you know, quite uncomfortable and quite painful, obviously wash it off straight away with warm water and a very basic cleanser. Because that's the other thing you really want to make sure you have available after this peel is a very simple cleanser. You certainly don't want to be using a high active cleanser such as a glycolic cleanser or anything like that. Just something nice and simple just to wash it off your skin once it's done. Now I do apply a few layers of the product again because I use quite a few peels and quite a lot of active ingredients on my skin. So I like to really um, allow this to penetrate the skin to exfoliate any dead skin cells. So I've now applied the peel all across my face and neck. So I've set a timer so that I know once it's been 10 minutes. And again, with anything like this, it's really important to follow the instructions. So I certainly would never suggest to leave it on for longer than that 10 minute time frame. Now, at the start of this video, you may have noticed I do have kind of a bit of redness under each of my eyes. So just above that 
orbital bone, I do have some slight redness. So I will let you know that's because I am in the process of doing a review of two micro needling eye patches. So the first one is the Skin Iceland Dissolving Micro Needle Eye Patches. So these ones in Australia are sold from Mecca and um, they're essentially a, an eye patch that sticks to the under eye area and it has some micro needling technology in there to really penetrate the skin and deliver that skin care um, deep into the skin. The other one that I'm also trialing is the Vice Reversa micro needling plumping patches. So these ones are actually from Korea. Now these ones, very similar technology, they stick under the skin, they have a micro needling technology um, with skincare ingredients in the patch to apply directly to the skin. So like I said before, please subscribe and register for the notifications on my channel because I will be launching that comparison video between the two products um, probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, and it's, it's they're a very interesting product. I've never seen anything like this before and I, I use a lot of skincare. Um, so I'm really excited to see the results and share them with you in my next video. So while I'm waiting the 10 minutes for the peel to really work and exfoliate my skin, I thought I'd share with you some of the places where you can actually buy the product. So in Australia, it's available through ASOS, Chemist Warehouse. Really, there's quite a few places that do sell The Ordinary in Australia and it is very affordable. So it is not an expensive brand at all. Um, from memory, I think this product cost me about $14.50. So it's very, very affordable. In the UK, you can get it from Colt Beauty. You can also get it from ASOS directly. Um, or from the ordinary website, they will all also deliver it. And in the uh, sorry, and it's just over six pounds. And in the US, again, you can buy it from the ordinary website, Boots or Sephora, and it's around seven dollars and twenty cents US dollars, obviously. Um, so again, really affordable, great skincare line with some fantastic actives. So I do strongly suggest uh, having a look at some of the other products that The Ordinary have to offer. Okay, so the 10 minutes is up, so it's time to remove the peel from my face. So I'm just using a washer and some water and cleanser to wash my face. And when washing your face with a peel on, it's just very important that you're very gentle. So one, your skin has just been exfoliated, so you definitely don't want to be too harsh and really tug at your skin or pull on the skin. And you certainly don't want to use too much water and have the peel washing to your eye. So just being very careful. Obviously, this is a lot easy to do if you're not sitting in a chair looking at a camera. But if you go into your bathroom and just wash your face the way you normally would, that will be much easier. You'll see my skin still has a little bit of a pinky color. I've been using this product consistently for the last six months or so and this is consistent with every other time that I've used the product. It definitely leaves my skin a little bit pinky. Uh, a, little, a little bit of that could be just some very minor redness from the, you know, a slight tingling that the product delivers. Um, but a lot of it is actually just some mild, very mild staining on the skin, just from the redness in the product. All right, so there you go. That's what my skin looks like directly after the peel. Still a little bit wet, but you can see the peel is completely removed off my face. Now that my peel is complete, I've washed my face and my skin is completely dry, it's time to apply just a really simple hydrating moisturizer to really rehydrate the skin. 
So I'm using the Paula's Choice Water Infusing Electrolyte Moisturizer. This, I absolutely love this moisturizer because it is basically a multivitamin for the skin. You will see on all of my skincare, I do self-label the month and the year that I purchase the product because anyone that knows me, I do have a massive amount of skincare in stock in my house at all times. So to make sure that I'm using the older products first, I make sure that I put the date on there so it's really easy to check. Um, so just I'm just going to apply this the way you'd apply any normal hydrating moisturizer. And you'll see my fingers do still have some staining on them from the peel. So I will go wash those off shortly. So you just want to be very gentle with your skin. Again, not pulling it. Another critical step after a chemical, any kind of chemical peel really, it's just absolutely imperative to wear an SPF. And even it's best if you can avoid the sun, um, certainly directly after for the first few hours after, um, definitely try to avoid the sun. Um, but certainly when you do go in the sun, absolutely use an SPF. So today I'm going to be using the La Roche-Posay Amphilios 50 Plus. This is one of my favorite sunscreens. It is very lightweight. It doesn't, you know, clog my skin up or make me break out. And it doesn't really leave that white mask look that some sunscreens do leave. So I'm just going to put that on. And it's also critical to avoid any uh, any skincare with fragrances. Really, that's just a general rule that you should always be avoiding sunscreen, uh, sorry, avoiding any skincare product with a fragrance, um, but certainly after a chemical peel or some type of treatment like that, you absolutely don't want to be applying, uh, you know, fragrance to the skin. It will absolutely cause some irritation. Um, and really slow down that healing process because your skin now is in a healing phase because you have caused this, you know, um, minor exfoliation to the skin. So the skin now will be replenishing itself. And so the SPF is now completely applied. And you can see that what I was talking about before, that minor redness under the eyes might be a little bit hard to see under this light. Um, but again, that's from those uh, eye patches that I will be talking about in my next video. Time for the results of this product. So as I said earlier on in the video, I have used this product consistently for the last six months. Um, that in itself is probably enough feedback for most of you. So the fact that I have continued to buy the product obviously shows that I really do love this product. It gives a very nice, gentle chemical exfoliation. I do use it twice a week uh, for 10 minutes each time. Uh, but I have noticed in my skin, I do notice like a bit of a refinement in pores. So my pores certainly look a little bit smaller. Um, my skin feels a little bit tighter and it does give me a more even skin tone. Um, and certainly my forehead where, you know, um, like most people, I have some minor wrinkles and things that I don't love on my forehead. So after using this product, I do notice that it does really smooth that out a little bit and make the skin look a, little, a bit nicer, um, which has been amazing. Um, and again, what I also notice is after using the peel and then applying the skincare, it really, um, the skincare really penetrates quite deeply into the skin. So it feels very hydrated, uh, which is fantastic for me because I do tend to have very dry skin. And it's also really important that for at least a week after a peel, um, you definitely want to be a little bit cautious around which active ingredients that you use on your skin. 
Now, of course, this does depend on your skin type and your level of tolerance and your experience with active ingredients. So if, you're, if you use a lot of skincare containing a lot of active, so retinol, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, by all means, you will know your skin and you'll know when it's okay to use those products after a peel. But if you do tend to stick to quite basic skincare, I would really take it easy for at least four or five days after the peel, just to make sure you're not going to cause any irritation to your skin. But again, you know your skin better than anyone, so you will be able to feel what's right for you. Thank you so much for watching my video today. And again, if you are interested in really improving your skin and getting your healthier skin, please like and subscribe uh, and request the notifications. I will be uploading videos fairly regularly on all sorts of um, anti-aging skincare, as well as at-home beauty tools and professional treatments. So I'll be talking, taking you through my experiences and sharing the results with you to hopefully help you decide what skincare and potentially what professional treatments uh, and devices are right for you. So thank you so much. Enjoy your week and see you next time.